Ever since Jeffrey Epstein was arrested for sex trafficking, everyone he's ever met has abandoned him. He has no allies and no friends, although he is still beating Bill de Blasio in the polls. Now, <laughs> even though Epstein has had many high-profile friends, there's been a lot of focus on one particular relationship in his life with his old buddy, Donald Trump. And Donald Trump has spent the past few weeks distancing himself from Epstein. But now we're learning that the two were a little bit closer than Trump would like to admit. The president says his relationship with Epstein was no different than anyone else in their elite circle. Well, I knew him like everybody in Palm Beach knew him. He was a fixture in Palm Beach. I don't think I've spoken to him for 15 years. Uh, I wasn't a fan. <laughs> Yet, a tape in the NBC archives of a Mar-a-Lago party shows Trump giving Epstein his personal attention. Trump is seen talking to Epstein and another man as women are dancing in front of them. Trump alternates between dancing and pointing out women to Epstein and the other man, and then Trump says something else into Epstein's ear that makes him double over with laughter. Oh. I wonder what Trump said to Epstein that made him laugh that hard. Maybe he was like, someday they're gonna give me the nuclear codes. <laughs> now, obviously, this video doesn't look good, right? Because Trump makes it seem like he never liked Epstein. But come on, like, on camera, he's whispering into his ear. What, are we supposed to believe that Trump was like, you're a demented individual who should be locked up? <laughs> and, like... I think there's a lesson to be learned here. You should never judge a book by its cover. Because here's a picture of two men who have been accused of sexual misconduct. And neither of them is the guy with the mustache. Yeah. <laughs> Open your minds, people. Open your minds. Now, look, now, look, please, let's be clear on this. Just because Trump and Epstein party together doesn't mean that Trump knew about Epstein's crimes, right? Epstein did party with everyone. So this video doesn't prove Trump did anything wrong. What it does prove is that there's another side of Donald Trump that he's never wanted us to see. The footage, shot in November of 1992, before Trump opened the resort as a club, shows the future president surrounded by cheerleaders, capturing Trump's fun-loving bachelor lifestyle for an appearance on Faith Daniels' NBC talk show. Hey! <laughs> Donald J. Trump, the party animal, huh? We've never seen this side of him before. Because in the White House, he always looks like a kid who just got detention, yeah? <laughs> but surrounded by beautiful women, he looks more comfortable than Scarlett Johansson and Crazy Rich Asians. He's living his life. <laughs> and will this footage of Trump partying with Epstein hurt the president? Well, to find out, we turn to a man who has hours of incriminating footage of himself, yep. Michael Costa, everybody! <laughs> Thanks for being here, buddy. Yeah, of course. Michael. Yeah. How bad is this footage for the president? Well, Trevor, this is bad, and I mean that in the black way, where bad means cool, you know? <laughs> A friend taught me that back in the 90s. You guys still using that? No. Uh, but... <laughs> but why, why would you think that this is cool? Trump is partying with a man who's a sex offender. Yeah, now, that part is bad in the white way, okay? But overall, this video is great for Donald Trump because it shows how great of a dancer he is. I mean, just look at him go. He's got all the classic white guy dance moves. He's, he's got the high arms, he's got the tight fists, and, and most important, the white guy lip bite, you know? <laughs> That's the bite that tells the ladies, don't disturb me. I'm concentrating real hard here. Yo, Mike, come on. What are you talking about? His dancing is terrible. He's jerking around. He's way off the beat. Well, first of all, I don't know what this beat is you're talking about, <laughs> but for white guys, he was bringing the noise and the funk. <laughs> you guys still saying that? We never said that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> The point is, white guys only have so many tools in the dance box. We've got the high arms with the random snapping, you know? We, we got the ironic, but also not ironic, staying alive move. And, and, and then you get the legs involved, and, and, and so it makes it look like you're wading into the deep end of a pool. <laughs> the only rule is at no time do you ever move your hips or the area we use sex for. <laughs> Dude, I, like, these are all terrible dance moves. Okay, okay, but it doesn't matter, because if you've got Trump's secret weapon, 
white guy confidence, okay? It's that confidence that gets us on the dance floor in the first place. It's that confidence that lets us send food back at a restaurant. And it's that confidence that lets us talk over our boss. Yeah, but isn't Let me this finish for a second. <laughs> it's that same confidence that allows us to run for president even when we have no experience and no ideas. And it's that same confidence that lets us ramble on TV in front of millions of people, <laughs> even though we don't have much to say. Michael, what's your point? Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> Michael Costa, everyone.